Hi, I'm Teresa Ruth Howard here at MyBodyMyImage.com and I want to talk today a little bit about how culture and ethnicity um, affects and um, creates body image. Um, living in America and specifically in New York City, we have as many races here as are on the planet. Um, and I think that that's beautiful and the diversity is really um, is, is wonderful. And as many cultures and, and ethnicities as we have, we have that many different perceptions of beauty and ideas about the body, especially when it comes to the women's body. I mean, culturally, the women um, always sort of bear a, a burden of being beautiful and attractive to their men. And hence, you know, you have different ideas of what creates beauty. You have African tribes that stretch the necks. You have um, African tribes that also um, uh, the women gorge themselves and get really, really plump before their weddings. You have Indian women who henna themselves and, and the idea of shades lighter being more beautiful, darker not being beautiful. There's all sorts of stuff culturally that, that goes on. Um, and that does affect women's body images or their images of themselves. Um, I just want to take today one of the most glaring um, contrasts and in, in America. And I want to talk about African American women and Latino um, women versus Caucasian women. Now, statistically, it's been proven that um, African American women and Latino women have less issues with their body and suffer from things like eating disorders far less than Caucasian women. Um, and I think that, that um, there are two, two reasons that, that this makes sense. One, in the African American community and the Latino community, um, the idea of the fullness of a woman is sort of celebrated. Um, again, it goes back to the men. Men find that sort of zaftig, womanly, curvaceous, um, thicker body attractive. And thus, you know, women wanting to be attractive to the men, you know, that becomes a desired shape or form. Um, you know, I, I can re recall young girls saying, oh, God, I need more African-American or Latina girls go, oh, I need more butt. I need, you know, I'm too skinny. This is something that's very, very common in those communities. And you could even be ostracized if you're too thin. Um, you know, you're too bony, olive oil, that sort of thing. And you may not be considered attractive. So the desire to kind of be full and, and that idea of sexy in terms of hourglass shape is, is wanted and desired in those communities. Conversely, it's been statistically proven that Caucasian uh, women suffer from eating disorders more often and that pressure to to be thinner um, which if you look at society is sort of understandable because their images are the images that are um, in the media more often and used as the standard of beauty and so it would seem when you see yourself reflected you say oh I'm supposed to look like that when the person is blonde hair blue eyed or even Caucasian dark haired, you say, oh, that looks like me. I'm supposed to look like that. Um, perhaps that's another reason why in the African-American and Latina community, there's less of a pressure. When you see yourself projected less or the image of what you should be projected less, you don't necessarily identify with it. So that could be another reason why um, some African-American and Latina women don't have that sort of pressure. Um, along with the cultural idea that the body is just accepted freely without any real stipulations. Um, I think that that is wonderful. However, the only fear I have and the problem I think that comes up in the African American and Latino community, communities um, is that there is a difference between uh, weight, shape, and health. So while it's okay to be fuller and you're not um, necessarily pressured to diet and, and restrict, um, there might be that sort of uh, concept of, oh, so it's okay to indulge. And so some of the things that you may be eating or the idea that you may not be exercising could be leading to the statistics that we know um, of obesity and diabetes and, and heart disease because 
African American women and Latino women um, may not feel the need to necessarily work out. Seeing as uh, seeing working out as a way of um, slimming down as a weight loss thing as opposed to a health thing so if I could get something across it would be um, sure love your body but love your body in its shape but love your body in so that you're taking care of it inside and out I talked a lot about um, your insides your emotional insides matching your physical outsides well let's also extend that to the health of your insides so I don't care how big you are, how tiny you are, but the idea that you're actually taking care of yourself um, and being healthy is of more importance than, than how you look because you'll look fabulous in a coffin. On the other side of the aisle, for Caucasian women with that pressure to be thinner and to be smaller, there's a trap there as well, which um, statistically has shown that sometimes it leads to things like disordered eating or eating disorders but mainly it just has you feeling inadequate and feeling bad about yourself and that's no good either because you're always chasing this better thinner version of yourself that one may not be obtainable two may not be actually healthy for you and three just doesn't make you feel good about yourself um, where not in an extreme case, the desire to be thinner um, or smaller may lead to, you know, healthier food choices and you actually staying fitter because, or more fit because you are working out and you're aware of it. You don't want it to ever be an obsessive sort of compulsive desire and especially again not something that makes you feel bad if you can embrace the idea that you're okay just the way you are you just want to be healthy that's actually a better place for you to be in probably physically and mentally so if we could get both of these sides or these concepts to meet somewhere in the middle to say it's okay that you look any which way as long as you are actually taking care of your body and you're healthy that would be a wonderful thing. Um, 